Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about the new imaginary DPS character coming to Honkai Star Rail, Rappa. Rappa is an imaginary erudition type character that prioritizes in dealing break damage to enemies when breaking their weakness. Starting with her accession stats, her base HP is 1000, attack 700, defense around 460, speed 96, and her max energy is 140, and of course her type is imaginary and her path is erudition. Moving on to her skills, starting with her basic attack called Nijitsu Rise Above Temples. Deals imaginary damage equal to 100% of Rappa's attack to one designated enemy or generic basic attack. Moving on to her skill called Ninja Strike Rooted Resolute. Deals imaginary damage equal to 120% of Rappa's attack to all enemies. Also a generic skill I would say, just deals AoE damage to all enemies. However, the main bulk of her kit comes from the use between her ultimate and her talent where when going into her ultimate enters the seal form state immediately gains one extra turn attains three points of corona ink and increases weakness break efficiency by 50 percent and break effect by 30 percent while in the seal form state basic attack is enhanced and skill in ultimate cannot be used after using enhanced basic attack consumes one point of corona ink when corona ink is depleted exits the seal form state where basically when you use her ultimate it puts her in this special stance where it enhances her basic attack to where it's called Niku Demon Bane Petal Blade. The first two hits deal imaginary damage equal to 100% of Rappa's attack to one designated enemy and imaginary damage equal to 50% of Rappa's attack to adjacent targets and the third hit deals imaginary damage equal to 100% of Rappa's attack to all enemies. Enhanced basic attack will not recover skill points attacking enemies that don't have imaginary weakness can still reduce toughness whose effect is equal to 50% of the original toughness reduction when breaking weakness triggers the imaginary weakness break effect. Okay, so this basically helps make Rappa deal more weakness break to enemies, allowing her to deal a lot more break damage. And the amount of break damage that she deals to enemies is increased even more due to the help of her talent, which is called Ninja Tech Endurance Gauge. Each time the enemy target is weakness broken, Rappa gains one point of charge, up to a max of 10 points of charge. When Rappa launches the third hit of the special basic attack additionally deals break damage equal to 60% of Rappa's imaginary break damage to all enemies. This damage can ignore weakness type to reduce two toughness consuming all charge. Each point of charge increases the break damage multiplier by 50% and increases the toughness reduction that can ignore weakness type by one. When breaking weakness triggers the imaginary weakness break effect. Okay so not only does this obviously gives her more break damage but also allows her to reduce toughness to characters that don't have imaginary weakness so this is a very helpful talent for her kit moving on to her technique ninja dash by leaps and bounds after using technique enters the graffiti state for 20 seconds while in the graffiti state moves forward rapidly for set distance and attacks any enemies touched during a rapid movement can block all enemies attacks using an attack in the graffiti state can end the state's duration early after entering combat via attacking enemies deals dirty toughness reduction regardless of weakness type and break damage equal to 200% of rapid a imaginary break damage to each enemy target and deals break damage equal to 180% of Rappa's imaginary break damage to adjacent targets. At the same time, this unit regenerates 10 energy. A pretty useful technique makes her run faster and deal a lot more break damage when entering battle. Moving on to her bonus abilities that will further enhance her kit. Her first one, Nijitsu Inscription Weathered Leaf. When an enemy target becomes weakness broken, increases the break damage taken by 2%. If Rappa's current attack is higher than 2400, for every 100 access attack, additionally increases the value by 1%, up to a max additionally increase of 8%. This effect lasts for 2 turns. Okay, so this kind of gives us an idea of what kind of stats we want to prioritize when trying to build Rappa. And it definitely looks like that attack is definitely one of them, because since she is dealing break damage you definitely do want to give her a lot of attack in terms of her relic stats but we'll get more into that in a little bit her second ability then just to inscription c echo while in the still form state after rappa uses enhanced basic attack to deal damage to a weakness broken enemy target converts the toughness reduction from this instance of damage to one instance of 60 percent super break damage which is pretty good because it allows her to deal more damage to weakness broken enemies which is overall just more damage and her last one, the Jitsu Inscription Sky High. When the weakness of an elite level or higher enemy is broken, Rappa additionally gains one point of charge and regenerates 10 energy. A pretty nice ability, I would say. 
Not that massive, but you know, something extra, I guess. Her stat bonuses that she gets is attack, which is good, speed, very good, and break effect. Pretty much all the stats you want to be focusing on in terms of her relic stats. Moving on to her Eldalons in case you want to get multiple copies for Rappa. Her first Eldalon during the Silphorm state entered by using ultimate damage dealt by Rappa ignores 50% of the target's defense after exiting the Silphorm state, regenerates 20 energy. Pretty nice Eldalon, I would say. Definitely good that the first one ignores defense of the targets. Her second one, the enhanced basic attack first two hits after toughness reduction against the one designated enemy increased by 50%. Allows her to weakness break enemies more efficient that don't have the imaginary weakness. Her fourth one, while in the C form state, increases all ally speed by 12%. More speed, I guess. And her last one, when battle starts, Rappa gains 5 points of her talent's charge, whose upper limit is 5 points. After launching the third hit of her enhanced basic attack, gains 5 points of charge. This one is pretty nice i mean it allows her to get the charges very fast and very instant like that i mean honestly it's nothing that crazy it just allows rappa to basically get her buff from her talent very fast which is a very good buff but nothing crazy for like an e6 i would say but in case you are interested in getting multiple copies of her i would definitely say her first and second one are pretty good but like if i have if i have the limit i was just say only get her first one because it just ignores the defense of the targets moving on to her light cone starting with her five star signature called najisu inscription dazzling evil break the passive of her light cone is increases the wearer's break effect by 60% when entering battle immediately regenerates 30 energy after she uses ultimate attains red on after using two basic attacks advances the wearer's action by 50% and removes red on after the wearer uses ultimate resets red on so this increases her break effect regenerates her energy advances her action by 50% allowing her to deal more constant turns I feel weird when i first read the light cone because like it's nothing that kind of you know makes her kit more better it just advances her action by 50 percent after she uses two basic attack when after using her ultimate that isn't really something surprising because i feel like i could just use a support for that but nonetheless if i guess you don't want to use someone like Bronya, sparkle then i guess this light cone will be a lot more better but i feel like those two characters are definitely ones you will like to have on your team but nonetheless i i would say it's a good light cone but not really one that makes me want to go out of my way to get it however if you don't want to go for her light cone the other options that you can go for in terms of five star is himiko's light cone knight on the milky way because it gives her more attack and also gives her more damage though when inflicting weakness break in terms of four stars the battle pass lycon is always a good one just gives her more damage based on her max energy and after the shamrani fall because it increases her break effect by 28 percent and increases her speed by eight percent after using her ultimate which is very good next let's go into her relics for how you would like to build rappa and what kind of stats you would like to farm for her starting with the four piece relic you definitely want to go for iron cavalry because it increases her break effect in the four piece passive basically increases her break damage and ignores defense of enemies if you don't want to farm for this set the only other set i would suggest farming for is thief of shooting meteor because it increases her break effect similar to like the first set but the four piece passive increases break effect by 60 percent and after inflicting weakness break regenerates three energy for rappa which isn't that good i would say because she kind of gets energy a lot on her own next the two piece set you would like to give her the first one i would recommend is talia because it increases break effect by 16 percent and when her speed reaches 145 or higher her break effect increases by an extra 20 percent if you don't want to farm for this set the only other option i would say just is space sailing station because it increases her attack and when her speed reaches 120 which is a lot lower than the first one it gives her even more attack the main stats that you will like to farm for rappa is for her boots definitely speed because you definitely want to give her an option to be more consistent when taking turns but let's say if you would like to use sparkle or bronya on your team then you can substitute speed with attack but generally i will always recommend speed because it just allows more options in terms of t building for her chest piece attack her sphere attack because again she is dealing break damage you aren't really prioritizing crit because break damage doesn't really benefit from crit and you don't want to give her imaginary damage because 
again break damage mainly gets a lot of its increase by attack and considering that one of her abilities benefits from her having a lot more attack definitely helps increase that break damage so i will recommend going attack on her sphere and her chest piece but for her link row definitely go for break effect because that definitely makes it a lot more easier to get more break effect for her stats instead of just going for it in terms of her sub stats and then for her sub stats obviously break effect speed and attack all right and that is my pre-release analysis on the new imaginary character rappa i think she is pretty good i think her kit is pretty much cookie cutter compared to like other characters that had released in the past like Akron and Fushao but I think her kit and animations does give her her own uniqueness especially her animations because they are very good when it comes to her ultimate because I feel like they put a lot of work into her ultimate animation but nonetheless I am very excited for her I think she is easy to build and is gonna be a strong DPS on launch but yeah that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this then definitely subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video to support it leave a comment down below of what you guys think of Rappa. That's it for today and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.